After you have the sides on and trimmed, uh, the next thing you want to do is put in your um, corner blocking here. And um, after those are dry, then you can bevel the uh, shear clamps and everything else that's included in here, like the uh, corner block. You know, mount the uh, mast up here and the steering block for the steering bracket. And I recommend drilling multiple holes so you can adjust it fore or aft. I mounted mine six inches from the aft edge and uh, Dave did that and then he went forward because he's taller. Put in your uh, mass step aluminum piece and we're only using the rear hole because we found that um, the balance of the boat seems to work better in the rear hole than the front hole and then after that you want to take your uh, steering pedal bracket and figure out where you want to put it on the vertical member here and um, bolt it in inside the boat. To create a little notch in the yep. bulkhead. For the taller people. We're doing a test fit to make sure the pedals are in the right place. Yeah, plus the boots will be thicker. Yeah. And these boats are really comfortable. And warm. And warm, yeah. Especially when you put the deck on. <laughs> <laughs> this is a convertible. So model. you're you're six 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 foot six foot tall. Okay. So yep. steering chalk on here. It's plate, plastic bushing, and then that's where the chalk will be hooked to for your steering arm. Once you get your foot pedals in, you want to hook up your steering bar, and it goes through the fuselage out the hole in the front. The next thing you want to assemble is your steering chalk. And basically, I've got some plastic laminate in here that we glue in with 5 minute epoxy to use as a bushing against the uh, runner stiffener so we don't get any galling with aluminum on aluminum. And on these, I uh, have some flathead 5 16 bolts, and they're lock nutted on the back side. And these are just three inch by three inch angle, cut and modified to work. And on top of that, we get a uh, plastic bushing. And this goes under here. And then it gets, you can cut that bolt down and then nut it. And that's your steering. <clears throat> Have the steering pedals hooked up to the steering chalk. The next step you want to do is put in your push steering rod. And that comes in here and goes to the back of the fuselage. What you want to do on the uh, push rod for the push steering is drill some holes and Jim made some plastic brack, uh, bushings that fit through the holes, which is a good idea. And we've drilled through the first, actually the 
the last two bulkheads, not the first two. And uh, the, the pipe will come out here and we bent it down and then out. So it's always going parallel through the hole. This is what it looks like when it's finished. And you can grab this and push it fore and aft. And that way when you're pushing your boat to get in it, you have steering still, which is a real nice feature. Steering's installed and you're kind of just checking it out. See how things go. We're gluing up for the deck stringers. And uh, we installed the deck stringers and it really gives the boat a lot more shape when you do that. And now Dave's kind of sealing all the, the raw wood that was never sealed inside. Got the steering installed and the mast step installed. The block plane deck, if you want to call it that, is installed for the recessed sheeting. We're planing the deck cleats now and beveling them in with the shape of the bulkheads. We're doing the uh, mast step reinforcement area on the top of the fuselage. Yeah, we'll cut it. And basically, we've got uh, about two and three eighths or two and a half inch blocking in there, stuck in between the bulkheads on either side. And then he's uh, gluing up the center piece that goes right down the middle for more support for the mast. And after that's done, we'll locate center and drill a hole with a hole saw where the mast comes out. And it can be an elongated hole if you want to put uh, rake, uh, the ability to rake the mast forward or backward. We're going to start the strip planking today. And the first thing we did was strike a center line all the way up the boat. And that will be our starting point for the strips. We pre-cut the strips yesterday. And uh, they're oh, 7 eighths by quarter inch. And the first couple of boats, we used the T50 stapler with um, 3 8 staples and we're going to try a different thing. I bought this Hitachi nail pinner and it's a 35A, NP35A and it shoots 23 gauge pins. They're tiny, you can hardly see them so we're going to check that out. We wet out the uh, deck surface first everywhere where the strips will go initially and then Tom is wetting out the uh, bottom and then one edge to get started on the stripping. Okay we've got our first strip on on center. Yeah this is about halfway done. It's about an hour into it works really good with two guys. Got Tom rolling out, doing the edges, and then I'm nailing them down with a pin nailer. Okay, we've got it all done. That took about an hour and a half with two guys. That's not bad at all. And we use some tape here to get in between some of the bulkheads a little tighter, and then we even put a stick in too to help hold, hold them uh, flush makes less work in the long run. Dave's sparing the deck with a uh, flat sanding block or sanding stick and uh, fired it out and hand planed it to get the glue off and uh, eliminate some of the tall strips and that worked pretty effectively. 
basically what he's doing is going across it diagonally and then he'll probably change his diagonal sanding direction 